Hello, my name is Agatha and this is the astrological reading for the month of April 2016 for the sign of Scorpio. If this is a very general reading, if you'd like a private consultation with me, please send an email to duniazadachimail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. All the informations are below. So, uh, on the 7th of April 2016, the new moon uh, at 18 degrees of Aries is going to happen in your case, Scorpio, on your 6th house. Uh, and it's it's this new moon happens really close to the planet of surprises Uranus so there there could be like a, a sudden unexpected surprises connected with your workplace uh, or with your health and this new moon is going to be in a square to Pluto on your third house so imagine that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give extreme examples okay imagine that something happens in your workplace and uh, you cannot. Uh, you you used to used to work on on one city, and then they discover uh, it's filled with, you know, it's a toxic building of some kind, uh, and you need to leave immediately. This the building is condemned, and you all need to leave. Or like a fire happens. I, again, this is like very extreme, very extreme example that I'm giving, just to convey the message. And then you need to move. For some of you, not all. You need to move uh, the place where you work. So you, you used to work in CDA, and then for health reasons, because the building you can have, there needs to be like a quick, um, uh, not constructions, but uh, for instance, I'm going to give you again another extreme example. The uh, airport of Brussels, it was closed, and now there's, uh, because of the, the bombings, and now the people who work there, it's closed, you know, the people who work there can no longer work there. This is something that happened out of the blue and it needs to be not revamped, but, you know, a part of it needs to be rebuilt and probably new security me measures need to be implemented uh, while they are rebuilding part of the, the airport. And now the, the people who used to work there, like from one day to another, they can cannot work there anymore. I'm not saying that's that's going to happen in your workplace, okay? But something happens of that type and the, the, the building itself needs some sort of reconstruction. Could be like something like, uh, like a fire or something. Not necessarily. I'm going to, this, again, this is ex extreme examples. And you need to move from place A to place B. And this is going to disrupt, disrupt the way that you uh, that you use to travel to your work, uh, to your job. So let's say you used to live 20 minutes by pub public transportation from your workplace. Now you were moved for whatever reason to another place. And now it's like two hours away and there's no public transportation, transportation and you need to go by car, but you don't have a car and you don't have a license. You have no idea. You don't know how to drive. So this is going to disrupt the way that you um, go about to, to go to your, um, the way that you used to, uh, to, to get to your job. It could be also like a sudden health uh, scare. Not, I hope not. Okay. Uh, or even like a workplace um, accident of some kind that will require for you to uh, uh, go to uh, to have treatment somewhere else. Something that needs to be dealt immediately, not necessarily uh, very serious, but just needs to be dealt now. And you need to go to a clinic or a hospital, but that hospital and you need to do this, this for, let, let's say, a month. But this clinic and this hospital is like two hours away. So first you need to go there and you have no idea how to go there. Uh, or it's very far away, in, uh, very, far, very far, far away. And then after that, you have to come back and work. Um, and it has nothing to do with the work type of illness. No, it could be something that sh just needs to be dealt. Health-wise, needs to be dealt immediately. Okay, But th it doesn't uh, stop you from working. Um, Another way is that you might have like a sudden really, really big fight with a co-worker, like a very, very big verbal fight, like oh, or a co-worker a co has like a very big fight with you. Yet another way is that the sixth house is the house connected with colleagues, the people you work with. So maybe uh, there's lots of colleagues who leave 
all uh, there's lots of colleagues who enter there's uh, like the change has nothing to do with you it's to do with your colleagues the colleagues you work with suddenly a bunch of them go or a bunch of them enter let's say i'm going to give this example I, I like this example In, let, let's imagine that uh, your colleagues like 10 or 20 played the lottery and they all won they won the first prize and every, evil uh, every single one of them is going to get like two million dollars or two million quids or whatever but you didn't play you didn't play so suddenly they're really health uh, and wealthy wealthy and rich so they don't have to work there anymore so they leave they just leave and you have to do all the work because suddenly like 10 or 20 colleagues or co-workers left and now so this is a sudden disruption of your workplace okay and then the full moon happens on the 22nd of April at two degrees of Scorpio in your first house. Uh, full moons ha have to do with culminations or even endings, it depends. It could be that there might be, for some of you, an ending in terms of a relationship. Maybe you were dating someone and then you both decided we're not going to keep seeing each other again. Or it could be that you take this relationship to another le level, you define this relationship and you talk to you to the person you're dating, okay, let's be, uh, um, how do you, you say, ex exclusive, ex exclusive, let you my boyfriend, uh, uh, you my girlfriend, okay, or even like you might have like a, a talk about what if we get married, okay, there's like a bigger definition of this relationship, it could be either way, it depends. Um, it could be that it has something to do with you, with your health, uh, with your body, with your personality, with yourself, with your own life. The ruler uh, of Scorpio is Pluto, it's in the third house, and the old ru ruler, which is Mars, is in the second house. Okay, let's say that there were actually very big transformations in your workplace. And around the 22nd of April, you get a communi communication because the ruler of Scorpio is in Pluto, the third house, the, the, the house of you know, speech and messages also, you get a communication about your salary and that there, were, there will be uh, implemented, there will be implemented changes to your salary. Maybe you used to do something in your workplace, you had many duties and your salary reflected the work that you did, but now part of the work that you used, to, you used to do is going to be done by others, by new colleagues. So your salary takes a cut or it's something different. Like you used to do something in your workplace and there were changes implemented which will be reflected in your salary. It might say, that it might mean that the, this communi communication means that you're gonna get more money. So it's something around those lines. Could be more, could be less. Uh, it could be that you uh, you were thinking about changing the way you dress, changing your appearance uh, in some way, changing your hair, even buying glasses, something, and that change in your appearance is more or less done at, at around the 22nd of April. It could be something that you end about your, wor uh, your appearance, let's say you were having dental work done, and around the 22nd of April, the, this this work is done okay so it can have many different meanings uh, that's it Scorpio this is the reading that I have for you for April 2016 I hope you, you have a great month and if you'd like a private consultation please send an email to dunyazada.gmail.com I'd be delighted to work with you bye bye